subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Title, Understanding Python Asyncio Segmentation Faults, a troubleshooting tutorial. Introduction Python's Asyncio module provides a powerful framework for writing asynchronous code. However, like any complex system, it's prone to errors, including segmentation faults, seg faults. Seg faults occur when a program tries to access memory that it doesn't have permission to access, leading to crashes. In this tutorial, we'll explore common causes of Asyncio seg faults and how to troubleshoot them with code examples. Understanding Asyncio and Event Loops Common Causes of Segmentation Faults in Asyncio Troubleshooting Segmentation Faults in Asyncio A. Reproduce the issue, create a minimal code example that reproduces the seg fault reliably. B. Verify Python and library versions, ensure that you're using compatible versions of Python and any third-party libraries. C. Check for memory leaks, Use memory profiling tools like tracemalloc or memory underscore profiler to identify memory leaks. D. Review C extensions. If you're using C extensions, review their compatibility with Asyncio and Python versions. E. Test with different Python versions. Test your code with different versions of Python to identify version specific issues. F. Investigate external libraries. If you suspect an external library, review its documentation, GitHub issues, and change log for known issues. G. Use debugging tools. Tools like GDB, GNU Debugger, can help debug segmentation faults by examining memory and stack traces. Example code demonstrating a segmentation fault. Remember, debugging seg faults in Asyncio requires patience and a systematic approach. By following the steps outlined in this tutorial and using appropriate tools, you can effectively diagnose and resolve segmentation faults in your Asyncio code. ChatGPT